It's hot as Large parts of the UK and Europe have been hit with a sweltering heat wave, with some parts even reaching as high as 40 degrees Celsius. Obviously, we've known for a century that UV radiation can lead to cancer, but modern advice on sunburn can be really confusing. So here's what you actually need to know. And it will help if you understand sunburn on a cellular level. Redness, swelling, pain, peeling, all symptoms of sunburn, which is essentially an inflammatory response as a result of UV, primarily UVB radiation. And this radiation damages the protein, fats and DNA in our upper skin cells. These inflammatory molecules boost blood flow, which is why sunburnt skin appears pink or red or various shades of red, brown and black for darker skinned people. And this higher blood supply means more fluid leaks out of the blood into the skin, which is what causes the skin to swell. Stimulating nerves that make oh my god stimulating nerves that make your skin feel hot and painful and if you're really unlucky patches of skin cells become so damaged that they essentially self-destruct and that's how you get sunburn blisters so let's get to the nitty-gritty how do you heal sunburned skin i know loads of you might reach for after sun or aloe vera gels but unfortunately there's actually no solid good evidence that these actually increase healing they're simply a form of pain relief similar to using a cold compress taking a cold shower or taking painkillers Rather, your body is actually taking care of the healing for you. Stem cells at the bottom of the epidermis produce new skin cells more rapidly than usual. And immune cells in the skin start producing anti-inflammatory cells a few days after you've been sunburned. But obviously, prevention is always better than cure. So what are the best ways to avoid being sunburned? Number one is to be mindful of the UV index, which is essentially a measure of UV radiation. And dermatologists suggest that when the UV index rises above three, it's time to put on your sunscreen. And they recommend using an SPF that is 50 and higher. And yes, my melanated brethren, that does apply to us, even though we have a natural barrier to UV radiation. This is because most people don't apply sunscreen at the thickness at which it was tested, which is actually two milligrams per square centimeters of skin. But obviously the best way to avoid sunburn is to avoid the sun. Well, at least when it's at its highest point in the sky. This is because the UVB radiation will take a much shorter path through the atmosphere, meaning that less of it is absorbed by the air and more of it is absorbed by your skin. So with that being said, good luck, good speed. I'm gonna skedaddle into the shade back there.